Hello, bonjour everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for those who subscribe to my channel. Today in this video, we will talk about mounting transport. So we will see soft skin vehicle for transportation of infantry, off tracks and tanks. Throughout this video, we will talk about mounting transport using the rule book page 44 and 45, also the unit card for the off track and the command card for the soft skin. The German forces and the opponent, some volunteer from the Soviet Union, decide to play the enemy. First, we will talk about soft skin. So when we look at soft skin and the command card, you will need one truck for every two team. In this example, my Panzer Grenadier platoon have five teams, so we will need a minimum of three truck. When we look at the stat of the soft skin vehicle, they have a motivation confidence of four plus, a skill veteran of three plus, and is it on a careful four plus. But you save is not an infantry stay safe or nor a tank safe with armor. But they call it a safe tank, so you need a five plus to save any truck. So because those soft skin truck are unarmed, you never see them on the battlefield. Like in real life, they stay on the third line near as far away as possible as the front line. But when the front line need transportation, they will call the division headquarters, ask for a truck, and they will send to the front line the amount of truck they need to move the troops and they will leave. When the truck arrive at their new position, the troops will disembark and the truck will go back in the back of the division headquarters. So that's why we don't see them as well on Flames of War. And it's basically when you want to mount them and when they disembark, they disappear from the battlefield. It is the beginning of the German turn and that's movement step. At the movement step, you can call your truck. Your truck have to arrive near your Panzer Grenadier, in this case, no less than four inches from them to be able to jump into the truck. So even if there's no road, you can make the truck on the, in the field and jump, have the infantry jump into the truck. When the infantry jump into the truck, then the vehicle is declared mounted and they have to move at dash speed. And you cannot mount and dismount in the same turn. Now when your truck arrive in the battlefield, there's some restriction. You cannot be closer than 16 inches of the enemy. So if you are like fifth, the truck is parked 15 inches from enemy fire, it cannot happen. The only time you can have a truck closer than 16 inches of your enemy is when there's concealment. So if there's a hedgerow, forest, anything that conceals the truck from the enemy, then you can be less than 16 inches from the opponent. If it is greater than 16 inches, you can be in open field. There's no problem with them. You can see them, but they are too far to shoot at them, basically. Then your, tr your truck is loaded with the infantry. So we're gonna move them. And your truck moves away. So we're still on the same turn. Your truck, we're loaded, move away. They arrive at their new position. At this moment, like I mentioned, the infantry cannot disembark. They have to wait the next turn movement step to be able to disembark. But those trucks can be subject to shooting by the enemy. So the German turn is finished. It's Soviet turn in this case. And we have a platoon of infantry moving forward and get in the range of the truck. Then the truck will be subject shooting by the enemy. When the enemy shoot at your truck, they cannot shoot at the infantry inside the vehicle. Only the truck are aimed at. So for the Soviet here, they will aim at the truck and they are hit on the four plus. There's no or any concealment in between and they just arrive. So they are hit on the four plus. So let's say the Soviet fire 10 shot, they hit four times. So we have four hit. The German have to make their save. So let's say we roll and we need a save of five plus. More than likely, let's say, he saved that one, this one is not, and the last one as well received two. We have two trucks destroy, and one truck is saved. The two truck destroy, now the infantry have to jump off the truck, and they need to make a save. So we have two teams on the first truck. They have to move away from the Soviet. So let's move the camera a bit so you can see. So they move away from the Soviet and they jump off the truck. The second truck as well have two team that they jump off. And the third, tr third truck only one team and he has to jump off because the other has, two truck has been destroyed. So every vehicle of soft skin troop have to get off. Like in real life, the convoy gets shoot at, everybody jump. Everybody go in the ditch, far away from the enemy attack. Now those two guy, two team on the track number one, they have to make a save. Even though they have been hit twice, 
they need only to make a safe per team to see if they stay on the battlefield. If they fail this safe, they will be destroyed. So let's say they roll and they need a 3 plus. They got a 4 and 3, both are safe. The next one is alone, only one, two team. So the first one is a 3 is safe. And the next one, a 5 is safe. So those two teams are safe. And the last one is safe because he rolled a 6. He just jumped off. Now the truck are removed. Just those two. Or you can keep them there because they have been destroyed. So we're going to just remove the tag. The third truck run away. He fear for his life. So we place two destroy on your tank. Even though there's only three hit on the truck, your infantry is now pinned down. So we're going to pin down the infantry. So that complete the movement and shooting a truck by the enemy. There's no way the truck can shoot back because they are unarmed. And that's the reason why they go off the battlefield. Let's say that the German on the previous turn jump into the truck, move on their movement step. They were not shot at while the enemy turn. So now that's the new turn. Movement step. You can take your guys and move them up to dash move around the truck in any direction. If you move at dash move, you cannot shoot or assault at that movement. But if you move, for example, eight inches from the truck, then they would be able to conduct fire against an enemy in range. Now, just before I complete, some people may say, can a team that is pinned down jump into the truck and run away? Yes, you can. So if a team is pinned down, you can call the truck. The troop can jump into the truck in the movement step, and the truck at dash move can move away from any Soviet unit. And when they will dismount, they will dismount, but they will still be considered pinned down at their new emplacement. Now, I'm not too sure if they can roll before the dismount because Technically, at the beginning of the turn, you roll your dice to see if they are still pinned down or tank or bail out. So we'll let's assume you roll and they are still pinned down. Then when they get off the truck, they would be pinned down. And if you roll before they dismount and they succeed to unpin, then they will jump off the truck and they will not be pinned down. So that's the basic of movement with soft skin truck. Now we'll talk about movement using half track. Most of the half track are light side or German side are part of the platoon. So when you take an armored Panzer Grenadier platoon, depending on the number of team, you will receive an allotment of half track. Usually it's gonna be one half track every two team, but you can go up to three team inside the half track. But when you choose your forces and you, you look at the armored Panzer Grenadier, usually it's two team per half track. So that's fine with me too. And cost wise, if you take a Panzer Grenadier platoon, and you add three soft skin, for example, because there has only two team per truck, it will cost you one point per each truck. When you look at the armored Panzer Grenadier platoon, half track will cost you as well three point for three half track. So basically the same amount of point, one point per vehicle. So same principle apply when you call a four, putting your infantry inside the half track. You can only do that in the movement step. So in the movement step, and there's no 16 inches from the enemy, because the half track are always on the battlefield, so they can, are, can be in range of the uh, Soviet troops in this case. So you decide on the movement step to put your infantry inside the truck. So there's uh, inside the half track, so there's three vehicles. So two team, one team, two team. It's important to understand when you have an armored Pentagon G or any allied force with uh, half track, the half track command has to be at least six inches all the time with the leader of the infantry. So they have to be an imam of six inches. So let's say this one is the command one. We're gonna place it inside the six inches of your command. And you have them on support over here that can shoot and they are not blocked by the infantry. So we're gonna just put them like that. So they can see the Soviet infantry. So in your movement step, you give the command to the Panzer Grenadier to jump in the half track and move away. So two in this vehicle, one in this one because it's a command, and two more in the other vehicle. 
you can also use the marker to show which team is in which vehicle. Now part of the movement step, your infantry has jumped into the aft track and it can move. The option is you can move at tactical speed of the aft track or you can move at dash speed. Compared to the truck the wire, they can only move at dash speed because they cannot shoot or assault at any time. So in your movement step, the aft track arrive in tactical movement and they are less than four inches of the infantry platoon Soviet. You may decide at this point to shoot at them and assault if they are less than four inches. So when we look at it, are they less than four inches? And they are less than four inches so they can assault the infantry. If you decide to assault the infantry, you will conduct fire of your aft track first to see if you can pin them down. The infantry on board of the aft track will not be part of the assault. So during the assault itself or before, they cannot shoot at the enemy before the assault. And during the assault, only the aft track will participate into the assault. If you decide to assault, you bring your aft track against the Soviet. You can just fire prior, let's say. They were not able to pin them down. They move forward, the Soviet will fire back at the aft track and they need for that to hit on the four and they need to destroy at least two aft track to repel the enemy and if an aft track is destroyed during the assault every infantry team inside is also destroyed so it's really risky business to aft track with infantry on board. When you attack with the infantry on board depending if there's one team or two team an assault with aft track usually you need to roll a five if there's one team on board, you will need to roll a four. There's only one team on board. And if there's two teams on board, you're going to need to destroy your skill for assault will become a three. So the first vehicle will need to roll a four to destroy one team. And the second and third vehicle will need to roll a three to destroy one team, Soviet team. After the assault, let's say all three teams are half track is still there, the Soviet will try to counterattack. If they succeed, they will fire at the, at the German. If the German succeed to survive, let's say all three team again, just for the principle, because it's a mounted assault, the counterattack, instead to be a six, will become a four. So you're gonna need to roll a four to be able to counterattack the Soviet. So that's the basic of movement with aft track, conducting firing and assault. If the infantry is on board the aft track, they do not participate, so they don't shoot and put them in the shooting phase and they don't participate in the assault phase. Now let's see, the Soviet turn is done. We are back on the new turn for the German. At this point, the German will be allowed to disembark the infantry. So they can give the command to disembark. They can move up to dash move or tactical movement, but you have to consider, you have to consider leader has to be at least six inches of the command aft track. So when you get out, you need to stay at least eight inches, six inches, I mean, of your aft track command. That complete the explanation how to use aft track for movement of the infantry. The third method of transportation in Flames of War would be to jump onto a, train, a tank. The third method of transportation in Flames of War would be that the infantry jump onto a tank. So it's all well known during the war. If the infantry can jump onto any kind of vehicle to move forward in the direction they are going, they will do so. And there's no difference with tank. If they see a tank going in the same way where they are going, they would be more than happy to jump onto it and move forward. Now, for a tank, up to three teams can be on board of a tank. They don't see how far or how close they have to be from the tank to jump onto it but I will apply this a bit the same rules you have to be four inches from the tank to be able to jump into it my team leader of Panzer Energy is less than four inches of the tank so we can order a team to jump into the tank and move and that has to happen in the movement step before shooting so the same way there's three teams that can jump into the tank so we'll take one marker in this on this tank and one marker on that tank now there's a maximum of three teams, so marker one have two with the command, and the second one have three teams. And then your tank can move at dash speed or can move at tactical speed. If you move dash speed, 
He cannot shoot or assault. If he moves at tactical speed toward the enemy in the shooting phase, he can shoot at the enemy. And, and the assault, if it is less than four inches from the enemy, he can assault the enemy. The same principle applies like for the soft skin of the aft track. The infantry on top of the tank cannot shoot in the shooting phase against any enemy. They can only ride. If the tank decides to assault the team, an enemy, the infantry will not participate at the shooting and if one tank is destroyed or bailed out, the infantry will have to make a save to survive the attack. Then next turn, during the movement step, the leader can give the command to get off the tank and he can move in any direction up to 8 inches if they want to move tactical movement and whatever the dash move is according to the ground they are on. There are no specification where, behind or in front or on the side. So you may decide just to be jumping in front if in 8 inches and put yourself in position for assaulting the Soviet for example. So that's complete transportation using and that also complete my video. So if you have any comment, any suggestion, or if you see fault in my part, feel free to leave comments down below. And thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you soon with my next one. Bye-bye.